Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh so, To Sir Ibrahim, my fellow friend and other sir uh, My name is Nur Alisa Azwa Minti Samsudin And I am the first person who will present our presentation that is about Velcra By the way, um, I am from AM1104F So stay tuned, let's begin our presentation Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the introduction. What is Felcra? Felcra is a legal body uh, of the government that is known as the Federal Land Consolidation and Rehabilitation Authority, which was established on 1 April 1966 when then the deputy of Prime Minister was the late Tun Abdul Razak bin Datuk Hussein. In general, the Felcra was established under a provision known as the Provision Law, known as the Federal Land Consolidation and Rehabilitation Board Act 1966. The establishment of Felcra was made before the gazetting of the Act. The initial goal of the establishment is for the rural sector by its uh, by helping its residents to participate in the economic activity of the country and turn in to improve their li so that uh, they can improve their living standards by participating in these economic activities by creating opportunities so that they can generate income um, for their living purpose the establishment of ECRA is aimed at overcoming the problems of the rural economy, especially in developing the lands for agricultural process, agricultural purpose. This is due to the problem of land inheritance by the village, where the area of island is getting sm smaller, so there is not economy economical and can help the village community in increasing agricultural production. As a result, many rural lands are ab abandoned that cannot be developed by agriculture. Subsequently, state government land plants that can be regenerated be handed over to FECRA. So basically, the vision is the, to remain as a leading plantation house and grow as a successful Conglomerate, while well, the mission is to accomplish a corporate social responsibility, which is known as CSR, through a farm development and related activities with more efficiently and profitably. In that way, it can enhance the life of the quality of life of the target group, namely community, staff, and others, so that the productivity through efficiency and technology management can de develop a value high returns on plantation farms. That is the vision and mission for the FACRA. So that is my point. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Siti Nohamiza binti Muhammad Johar. I'm from class AM1104F. So now I would like to present about FACRA's contribution to the development of the national economy. Okay, the first point is improving the economic living standard of rural communities. Felcra is able to generate a profit and bring lucrative returns to its participants. Moreover, Felcra also opens business opportunities to Bumi Putra entrepreneur in a development area. Business opportunities are like developing an area of land for commercial economic activities through agriculture and organized livestock. The business opportunities that are open are also large land uh, use projects such as cattle and goat farming. Felcross effort have received encouraging response as meat and dairy based product are in high demand. Besides, by using a collaborative uh, share system approach similar to the peripheral land plan, the selection of youth land plan placement is close to the road or has access but is far from the nearby village area. However, Felcra is still maintained for the sake of economic progress of even though the world is facing an era of globalization in line with current development. Therefore, 
the need for modernization of rural farming communities is necessary to ensure that rural resource and the socio-economic level of rural communities can be improved and developed. Okay, the second point is developing either land across the country. Velcro or the Federal Lands Consolidation and Rehabilitation Authority contributes a lot to the country in line with its goal of functioning to recover and developing any government land and any other land at the request of the landlord in accordance with the condition agreed between the landlord of Velcro. The powers given to Felcra are only effective in Peninsular Malaysia. The effort to develop either land in Malaysia can be seen through the land plan that have been implemented by Felcra. The first plan is the Land Rehabilitation Plan. Felcra's contribution in this plan is through Felcra's success in the agriculture road project and water supply project. The second plan is the peripheral land plan developed by Felcra. This plan is an opportunity for every rural and rural resident to earn additional living income. Okay. Through this plan, rural communities can bridge the income gap and improve their living standard. The third plan is Felcra Youth Land Plan. The plan was started in 1972 with the objective of providing employment opportunities and a way of life to rural youth. Through this plan, rural youth will become responsible, modern and progressive farming communities. The government through FECRA has provided infrastructure, facilities to the participants and activities related to agriculture and uh, employment in the practice of daily life. Okay, and the last point is developing the second generation human capital of FECRA. FECRA always strive to complement the mastery of knowledge and education of FECRA children through the FECRA Foundation. Apart from financial assistance, FECRA also strive to enliven the professional staff among Felcra's children. Felcra strive to produce many physicians in the fields of pharmacy and dentistry. With this Felcra Foundation, it will indirectly help more unprivileged young children who do not have a stable financial system to further their education and in that way, it will be able to improve their standard of living and that of their family. In that way, it can produce uh, generation skill uh, and capable so that they can gain knowledge uh, in all fields. So, with that can help the community when they are afflicted with illness. With the increase the number of students from medical field, it can guarantee and help more people in need. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Farid bin Muhammad Karuzan. Today I will talk about benefit of FECRA. First of all, FECRA handed over land revenue amounting to RM 6.32 million to the people of Perak. This took place on 30 December 2017. This handover is to fulfill its responsibilities to the state authorities. This is also to help the people of Perak to carry out activities carried out by the Perak State Authorities. For example, poverty eradication program, community rescue, and so on. In conclusion, FECRA can eradicate the symptom of employment by providing assistance to the people. Next, FECRA paid BHS RM44.3 million to 17,161 participants. This is because FECRA wants to help their participants who are facing replating problem. This is so that they can run the project and take good care of the land. For example, buying fertilizer, buying tree, buying planting equipment, and so on. 
assistance given to participants is at the rate of RM70 per acre. In conclusion, this assistance can ease the burden on FECRA participants to work. Then, FECRA distribute a temporary profit of RM50.54 million to 70,000 participants. Distribution occur because FECRA want to help its participants to increase productivity and producing results. This will indirectly increase the competitiveness of FECRA participants to compete with outside parties. In conclusion, FECRA helps its participants to further increase the production of their agriculture products. That's all for me. Thank you. My part is FECRA produce position in the field of dentistry and pharmacy. The FECRA Foundation was a leader in effort to increase the number of dentists and pharmacy among participant children and FECRA workers. Other than that, it is being held in cooperation with three of Indonesia's top universities, the University of North Sumatra, Bandung Institute of Technology and University of Panjajaran, Bandung. <coughs> With a budget of about RM4 million, FECRA hopes to send a total of 30 people to study medicine at three of the country's top universities. FECRA has successfully and sent seven students to the University of North Sumatra to study medicine, pharmacy and dentistry, as well as two students to the Bandung Institute of Technology. Next is FECRA donate 3,400 to students in Kinabata. 3,400 students from 44 schools in the Kinabata and Tonggut district receive school bag and supply from FECRA Berhad. FECRA Berhad has set aside 4,500 for the assistance given to the Kinabata Parliament as part of the back to school initiative. This donation will relieve parents of the financial pressure of purchasing school supplier, supplies for their children. children. The Back to School Camps, according to the Kinabata Member of Parliament, is an annual event held by the Kinabata Parliament Office at the start of the school year. Of, all of the students are thankful for, for FECRA effort and thank all of it all of the assistant. Next is FECRA develop farm distribute dividend and is even concerned with develop to secure economy of the participant. Simoy Perry, a member of the Linger State Assembly, thanks FECRA Berhad for its many survive to members, which have been channeled through numerous camps, including assistant and donation. Since its establishment, 51 years ago, FECRA not only distributes dividends to participants three times a year, but it also gives advice to participants and who want to start their own company. FECRA also offers education resources for the participants. For the, for the participant children to continue their study at FECRA College, in Seberang Perak, according to Semoy, for the profit of its members, FECRA is concerned to have approximately 2,000 units of Rumah Bina Negara, RBN, in, in 90 locations throughout the world. Semoy lauded FECRA social duty in a message read by his representative. Lengah State Assembly, Assembly Special Affair Depart Department. Officer Sulaiman Hamud at the inauguration of the Felda Berhad Batang Lupar Felda Berhad Batang Lupar Back to School Fund Program in Kampung Pulau Seduku. FECRA is an effective agent of rural growth transition as it not only improves land and farm, farmland but also help participants improve their socio-economic status. FECRA provides school supply to the children of select participants around the world, including two pair of uniform, two pair of trousers and public, a pair of shoes and bags. Last is 
Velcra provide food basket assistance to participants, staff and employees involved with movement control order, PKP. Velcra distribute, distribute food basket to members, volunteers and workers participants in movement management order, PKP, in Mukim Endau and Triang Mesing Johor, with a total of 200 people worth 10,000. The FECRA Sri Makota region was concerned with the PKP from April 20 to 3, 2021. During the time at the PKP was in effect, contributions were presented to administrator, workers and participants in the sub-district in PACE. Hello, my name is Wikinson Robert. So right now I will talk about point number four, which is Recommendation Firstly, Velcra Berhad very actively involved in several business areas such as plantation, fertilization, real estate and construction, education, food production and dairy farming. There are many recommendations to upgrade, to improve and to advancing the service that provided by FECRA in order to achieve the objective, vision and mission that set by FECRA. So the first recommendation is FECRA need to further expand their business in R&D. They can try to manage and develop other land such as local fruit, fruit land. For example, uh, durian or mangosteen. There are many best-selling local fruit in the market and have a lot of demand. So they can have uh, many more income. Uh, next, the second recommendation is build many more schools and house in rural area. For example, build uh, primary school, secondary school, institute of higher learning, and terrace house. There are many underprivileged and poor family out there who need our help. There are many young generation or kid who can can go cannot go to school because they don't have money or in their place there is no school. So through this recommendation, we are able able to create uh, a young generation that is educated and has a bright future. Next, the third recommendation is provide new basic facility or modern technology to the development center and Insti institute of study. Participants need the modern facility or technology in the training center to develop their skill. For example, new tools and modern machine. Students should use the best and safe facility in school such as chair and table. If they use the best facility and modern technology, they can produce a quality product and outcome. In addition, the fourth recommendation is create a program and method to attract more young people to become FECRA participants. In statistics, participants of FECRA mostly come from 40 until 70 years old. For example, uh, we can conduct a workshop or a program to narrate and inform what FECRA is and at the instit institute level of higher education and post ads about FECRA on social media and in television. That's all for recommendation. Thank you. Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Mama Isdenia Benjamin and I'm from 4F uh, and I will discuss about conclusion. 
FELCRA is a government agency that was established to promote commercial agri agricultural sector which was previously monopolized by migrant as a result of British policy to discourage the involvement of the communi community, community in the sector concern. As a result, people Malays who live in rural area during the early independence era are in poverty. Even so, people Malays have a lot of land in rural, resource-rich agricultural economy. Due to the inability of the rural community to develop this land, Felcra acts as a body that will manage, train and provide assistance to the rural community in de developing agricultural activities. So, this FECRA involvement has commercialized the food-based agriculture sector which was once, once a traditional agricultural economy inherited from their ancestor. The introduction of the commercial agriculture sector has also provided an opportunity for the rural community to become successful to become successful farmers in providing the needs of agricultural raw material to meet the needs of industrial factory in Malaysia. In addition, the opening of new lands has also provided opportunity ties for the youth and that time to develop their social economy. The opening of this land can indirectly overcome the problem of employment of the group at that time. As for the cases of either land due to lack of capital, skills and problems of land owned by multiple owners can also be overcome through the introduction of a share system that can make the land as the main source of, the, of shares for them. In addition, the salaries and wages received 